What's going on, people? I hope you're having a good day today. Um, I am here to show you how to use Bittrex, which is one of many exchanges you can use to buy altcoins, but is our preferred exchange. Uh, very easy to use, um, good support. So uh, I recommend it, and you can read through it uh, once you visit the site. And they support over 190 cryptocurrencies. So almost any coin uh, that you can think of that's come out that's relatively uh, high volume is on Bittrex. So let's jump right in. Let's log in here. Uh, if you don't have an account, you won't be able to log in, but you can sign up. And just like most other websites, put your email and password. All right. So once you do that, you'll get verified and you'll be able to sign in. Um, you'll you'll see the two-factor authentication, which you want to make sure that you have on your phone. Uh, and I'll explain that once we get into your account. So let me put that in here. All right. So once you are logged on and verified, uh, they always have the biggest percent gain, top volume uh, for different coins at the top. When you first come in, you can look at the Bitcoin markets, um, do it by alphabetical order, uh, by currency, volume, which is uh, very helpful, high volume and low volume. Also, the percent change, the biggest losers for the last 24 hours, and percent gain, some of the coins that gain the most value in the last 24 hours. Also, the same with Ethereum markets percent change and volume as well so first thing you want to do always with any account is go to your settings after you've gone to your settings you want to make sure you enable two-factor authentication no matter what any wallet that you get any exchange that you use you use two-factor authentication and use Google Authenticator or Authy A-U-T-H-Y um, and it's very simple this is enabled but you'll scan the QR code with that app it'll give you directions for it and once you do that it'll be enabled so every time you log in you'll have a code to enter right so remember two-factor authentication for everything uh, let's take a look at the wallets actually um, the wallet actually holds the coins that you have uh, and for this test account I have some OMG uh, Litecoin uh, and a little bit a little bit of Bitcoin as well to show you how to buy and sell today so with uh, Bitcoin if you wanted to um, withdraw it from this account you would push the minus sign and you would just copy and paste the address uh, the public address of wherever you want to send it either your wallet another exchange uh, to someone else it doesn't matter you'll, you'll paste that in there and quantity wise you can put the full amount by clicking that and it'll show you the transaction fee and the withdrawal and you would simply withdraw from there same thing with a deposit push the plus sign and this is your address for this wallet so you would copy it um, and you would paste it into uh, the send field for your other wallet or for your other exchange or you could scan the QR code and send it there so that's how you deposit and withdraw into Bittrex uh, Bitcoin and other coins as well because you can deposit like Litecoin uh, I could transfer this Litecoin. I could transfer this uh, OMG. Um, as long as you have the wallet, a compatible wallet for that coin, you can transfer it. So uh, that's withdrawals, that's deposits. Let's take a look at a market so we can do some buys and sales and show you how to get it. Let's take a quick look at the interface, however. Uh, once you get on, you'll see the chart Litecoin, which is doing good today. Bitcoin's little brother. Um, right here you can see 30 minute charts uh, one hour uh, long term people you can look at the one day charts um, whew, look at that mm. and you can also view the order book which uh, is an indicator of where people are buying how much you can do it up to 100 percent so you can see the full landscape of how many bids and ask which is buys and sales are up there over here you'll see the price in uh, Satoshi's and the price in I'm sorry the price in Bitcoin which you can say in Satoshi's and the price in USD so right now it's at 72 bucks and in Satoshi amount this would be 1,519,464 Satoshi's but um, because it's a 
smaller decimal, you can just say 0 0.015 Bitcoin. Uh, if you had a smaller amount, for example, like uh, let's do SafeX. Uh, SafeX, for example, is a smaller cap um, coin, easier to use for Satoshi. So instead of saying uh, Safe SafeX is worth 0 0.000255, 000 you would just say SafeX is worth 255 Satoshis. All right, or if it was a one, it'd be 1,255 Satoshi. It's just a quicker way of putting it. So um, let's go back to Litecoin here and let's do a quick sale so you can see what I'm talking about. Uh, we'll do two uh, quick demos. The first one will be uh, a limit sale um, and a limit buy. And then we'll do uh, stop limits where we'll show how you can prevent yourself from losing a certain amount. Also, where you can set price points for where you want to sell. So let's get into a quick limit sale. Here you can put the, the amount uh, where you sell Litecoin and this is where you buy Litecoin. But right now we'll do a quick sale. We're going to use the max amount. The price, you can put the last price it was, the bid amount. The bid amount is what people are willing to pay for it. All right. So if you want to sell it quick, you'll put the bid amount because you'll basically fill the order of what someone bidded. Or you can put an ask, the last ask price which is what people are willing to sell it for. Uh, this may take a little longer, uh, which is fine, but that is the price that you want. Or you could set the price manually and say, uh, look at this chart. I think it's going to, um, I don't know, going to fall a little bit. I don't want to buy it until it's at 147. Or I don't want to sell it. I'm sorry. Why would you want to sell lower? If the price goes to 157, you say, well, once it gets to that price, that's when I'll sell it, right? And place that sale. And here you can see the quantity, the price, uh, their commission as well, and you will confirm it, right? And let's go ahead and do it real quick so you can see what I'm talking about. And if you put that price at 157, you can see your open order. It'll actually sit there on the books. You can look through the ask. And let's see. And there, where the star is, that's where your, your sales, your ask price, along with others, are sitting. So um, if the price increases, they'll have to fill that order in order for the price to go beyond that point. So uh, once you have an open order, uh, also down here, you can see in real time the market history and your own order history, your buys and sales. This is basically just test account, so not many. But you can also exit it. Once you put, have an open order, you can say, well, I actually want to put a condition on it um, where if the price goes lower than I expect I can set that as well so at this price 151 uh, we'll say well right here is some pretty good support so in this area let's say 144 um, if it gets below that area then that means it's reversed and I don't really want this uh, I don't want this big loss so you can say conditionally when the price is less than or equal to and I just copied and pasted that from up top, uh, 144. Um, I want to sell, all right, because I want to make sure um, I don't take more than a 10% or 5% loss, whatever you uh, set it at. And the good thing is, whenever you set that condition, it'll actually explain it to you right here. So, condition your sale order will submit when the next executed trade is less than or equal to 14.4. So, if it hits that price, it'll sell for you. You can walk away and be confident if the market goes red you won't have to sit there like some people and panic buy and panic sell um, and exchanges get flooded with volume when you already have your order set so that is a quick sale uh, limit sale and a conditional sale uh, also I want to say that you can set it greater than or equal to let's say if it's greater than or equal to this price we're gonna sell it at that price and you want to click in there so you can see how much and you'll see how much profit you made from that point if you do the calculation so um, you can set your condition your sell order will submit when the executed trade is greater than that amount it'll set that order for you and it'll sell at that amount uh, if somebody takes it so if we wanted to buy Litecoin um, let's do the max amount which is here you can do the last price, the bid, the ask. Uh, if you put the bid, that's how much you're willing to pay for it, right? 
so it won't uh, process as fast. But if you put the ask price, you're willing to pay what someone's already asking. You go, you're going to fill that order, and it'll happen instantly. We'll do a limit buy right now, and let's buy it. All right, confirm that. Boom, instantly. All right, because we took the ask price, and that by field in real time, it'll show you. And as you can see, we have less Bitcoin, and now we have more Litecoin. So now that we have that, let's do a quick sell back so I can show you a conditional buy. And remember, uh, the price you put it, if you put the bid, basically cross it. Uh, if you put the bid, that's that's the price. You know, put it, we'll do a quick limit sell. And we only want to sell uh, 0.01 Bitcoin worth. And it'll adjust for you. So we'll want to sell that amount and confirm it. And as you can see, instantly, uh, most if you like, like I said before, if you set that price uh, for the sale at the at the bid price, you're good. Same thing with buy if you set it at ask. So let's do a conditional buy. Uh, let's do the max amount we can get, which is 0.65 Litecoin. Um, we're not going to set that price. We're going to set a condition. So let's say you look at this chart and you say, well, I want to buy more Litecoin if it hits a certain price point because that means it's going, it's, it's uh, confirmation that it's going higher. Um, also, you can say, well, I think it's done what it's going to do for a while. If it falls below a certain point, though, I want to buy back into the market. As you hear people say, uh, BTFD, uh, buy, buy the dip, buy the fucking dip. That's what that means. Uh, so if you look here and say, well, uh, I think I'll buy the dip at 143. You can put this condition that when the price is less than or equal to 143, you want to buy. So put that buy price. And like I said, the condition will explain to you your buy order will submit when the next executed trade is less than or equal to 143. So once it drops below that price, boom, it'll execute that order at whatever price you put it at. So sorry, we'll put 143. So once it drops below, you'll have your your buy order sitting there so you can buy the dip confidently. And you basically are automating your process because once you do this, either with a sell or a buy, you can walk away. You can actually live a life. Um, some people as traders, they stare at charts all day. It's fun to me, but for some people, um, they definitely lose touch with the outside world. So this is a good way to buy and sell on Bittrex. Um, once again, we are looking to bridge the gap. Making sure consumers who are trying to get into Bitcoin and people who have been in it a while, we can bridge that gap by showing you some of the tricks and some of the, the quick ways to use these exchanges. So Bittrex is, in my opinion, the best exchange to start with buying altcoins. And I would uh, suggest using it um, if you are a beginner. So uh, to receive free Bitcoin, all I want is for people to comment. Uh, make sure you put your public address. Just comment um, on dip something else you would like to see for beginners or for people who are just learning and we'll definitely do a demo and show you some some of the things you can do to do it um, this is Bitcoin Zay from KRB crypto make sure to follow us and that's all for me today uh, have a good one